Here's the master gardener himself right here. Elliot Rotherain. Okay, what we're going to do. It's uncovered the tomato plant. As you can see, it snowed last night and we're supposed to get two to four inches more tonight. Temperatures in the mid 20s. Normally we can leave these plants covered for two, maybe three days. I've left them as much as five days and they've survived. But I'm going to show you what the plant looks like underneath. Right now it is 50 degrees underneath there, approximately 50 degrees. I would never uncover them, but we just want to show you that the plant is surviving and doing well. The problem is, once we uncover the plant, the temperature will start falling from the around 50 to approximately the air temperature. That means I'm going to have to do something remedial to get the temperature surrounding the plant what it was before. What we're going to do is we're going to use horse manure. It's already been composted. Kurt's going to shoot the plant to show it to you that I'm going to surround the dome with the horse, horse manure. has been kept indoors overnight so that it's a warm temperature for it. Okay, you ready Kurt? Let's do it. I've grown a zigglu. It's already bigger today than it was yesterday. Yeah. Look how thick already. Make it fast, Kurt. 16 days. Today maybe 17. Well, oh, I don't know exactly. Look at all those worms. Look in at our those worms. Oh, they're everywhere. Again, we're just doing this, you don't normally do this, to bring the temperature around the tomato igloo back to what it was before I uncovered it. Now, I'm just going to go right on top. Yep. Looking beautiful. Look at that dirt. All right. Now we want to cover it because it's going to have to stay covered again tomorrow. Like I said, two to four today. It's going to be freezing again tomorrow, well below uh, 32. So it's going to have to be covered at least another day, probably two days. around the plant stays warm because if the soil would freeze around the plant that frost could work right into the roots it's happened before Kurt do you have a minute I'll go get a blanket sure there's our second tomato a third tomato covered in its tomato blanket here's another compost pile right here we've started I think that uh, stick is an ind indicator for where an animal may be composting.
Here's one of our monsters right here. This is a beautiful mound. Nice warm winter blanket. We're gonna fold it over once. We're gonna come here, over to the plant. Now it's covered again. And the soil all around it is covered in an equal distance. So I won't freeze. Put this on top. That's an old garbage can lid, as you can see. Put the blankets down with bricks. It gets very windy here. Today is Tuesday, the plant will stay covered on Wednesday and possibly Thursday. When we uncover the plant, we'll film that for you. Good job, Kurt. Well, it's about 12 foot high, about 10 foot wide. We've already harvested about 500 tomatoes. Altogether, I'll go well over 2,000 tomatoes on this plant. To give you an example of the height of I'm about six foot two. Oh. The only thing about this plant is there's a danger in harvesting if you fall off the ladder. Need an oxygen mask for this baby. Grown in nothing but garbage. Delicious cherry tomatoes. They don't taste like the chemically grown ones. Superb. All you do is build up a hill of garbage. That's what you get.